In the past, when people have thought about compost, it's often in terms of the nutrient availability that's in these materials. And when we're thinking about that, it really needs to be thinking about what's the microbiology in this compost, not just what's the waste product have we been getting rid of. So when we are applying compost, I want this compost to fit to what's the purpose of where we're going to be applying that. So in most turf conditions, we've got a lot of grass. I'm wanting a one-to-one -one fungi to bacteria ratio in this material. And what we find is a lot of the compost that's out on the market hasn't been matured for long enough and it's very bacterial dominated. Why does that matter? What you're going to find is if you're putting a lot of bacterial compost onto a soil that we might start to see weeds growing, you might start to see more compaction or surface crusting and reduction in our water use efficiencies. So I'm really passionate that we get microbially balanced compost for what the end use will be. Now if you have a lot of trees you might even want that fungi to bacteria ratio to be like 20 to 1 depending on the species that you're growing and you can smell that. So we'll actually smell a beautiful fungal dominance uh, compost. We'll smell fungally, right? And we have to be careful if you're not around compost all the time. There can be things like Legionnaire's disease in compost. So just be really careful if you wanted to smell compost. You want to know that this is something that you've spent time with because those of us that spend time around compost, we're actually immune to Legionnaire's, which is kind of kind of cool, right? We also look at what that carbon to nitrogen ratio is in this compost. It should be pretty close to complete. What you find, depending on what the materials were that were used, there might be a carbon to nitrogen ratio of say uh, 400 to one if you're using a lot of pine or eucalypts. Um, if there's a lot of manures or um, very rich nitrogen sources, they might have a carbon to nitrogen ratio of six to one. Soil, when it's balanced, has a carbon to nitrogen of 12 to 1. If we are putting on substances that are very high in carbon, so say there's a lot of wood chip in this, then what happens is the microbiology feed first, and they will actually take nitrogen out of your soil in order to break that down and balance that carbon to nitrogen ratio so that it's fit for soil. So you want to be careful you're not adding too much woody materials that could be robbing your plants of the nitrogen that they really need. The other thing that we want to be looking at when we're looking at compost is its colloidal structure. And what I mean by this is like, how well does this stick together? So the more humified, the more biological activity, the more fungi in here, what you'll see is if you take some of that compost and you squeeze it together, what you'll get is material that really sticks together. It should feel a little sticky. That's telling you that the material is like totally broken down and we're now starting to form humus. When you rub this on your hands, does it stain your hand in like um, a dark brown color? That's one indicator that we're building humus in this actual compost, right? So there's a lot of things that we can do to assess quality. You might send away for a test for microbiology. You could also take some of this compost and do a germination test. So compare where you have, um, say you use something like a radish seed, get two seedling trays, Put potting mix in one, just commercial potting mix. Put your compost in the other one and look at, do I get 100% germination compared to the potting mix with this compost? Is there any damping down? Do those plants look really healthy? Are they all germinating? Um, and then also you could leave that compost outside and take a look. What kind of plant species germinate on this? So for us managing parks, you want to see that you get really good grass growth, just naturally will start to germinate. You might get some clover in there, right? That's indicating that we've got a pretty good balance in here. If, however, you get a whole lot of primitive weeds, your primitive grass weeds, the types of species you don't necessarily want to see out in the fields, this is a good indicator that this compost is not currently suitable for the end use that you want for it.